Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the front differential fluid in my 2013 F-150. This is going to be pretty straightforward, so let's jump right in. First, you want to put your truck into four-wheel drive and then drive around for a while in order to get the fluid inside of the differential warmed up. This will make it easier to extract. I drove for about 30 minutes, but 15 to 20 should be fine. If you are using jack stands, you will need to chalk off the wheels opposite of the stands. These wheel chalks are convenient because it comes with a magnet on the end right here. So as you are working, you can place bolts, nuts, screws, and even the wrenches you are using on the magnet so you always know where they are. It's like having your own personal assistant. You can throw anything at it. Oh, and when you are finished, you can use it to find the hardware that you lost. That's pretty sweet. Looking from the passenger side, this is your fill plug. All you need is a 3 8 ratchet and a 3 inch extension. The extension is pretty much necessary in this situation to access the plug. These front differentials do not have a drain plug, so we will have to use suction to remove the old fluid from here before we can refill it. Once it's loose, go ahead and remove the plug. If you see any old thread sealant or other debris, go ahead and remove it so it doesn't fall into your diff. Now in order to get the old fluid out, you will need some kind of siphon or syringe and you also need one with a very small tube in diameter even though the opening for the fill plug seems big enough for some siphons as you can see some just won't fit so i found one online that works perfect and we'll link it down below the goal is to siphon as much fluid out as possible there's roughly two quarts in the front diff so if you want to grab a clear drain pan like this you will be able to see exactly how much you remove. That's pretty convenient and makes it a lot easier to know how much is left. The goal is to stick the tube as far into the diff as possible and then start siphoning fluid out. If nothing comes out, go ahead and move the tube around as it may not be reaching the fluid like you need it to. Then try again. There we go. I have a 500 milliliter siphon in the description below, which makes it a lot easier to extract. Now keep doing this until you remove about two quarts. If at any point you are no longer extracting fluid, again, move the tube around because it may be curled up inside the diff and not resting at the bottom. If nothing else is coming out and you remove close to two quarts, then you can remove the tube and get ready to fill the diff. Now we can fill the differential. Mine calls for 80W90 rear axle lubricant and I'm using Motorcraft. I'm also going to use this beast, but before you ask, yes, I did try to use this to remove the fluid from the diff. However, the tube was too large and would not fit into the fill opening. The 500 milliliter syringe I have in the description should fit as the outer diameter of the tube is just under five millimeters. Now the goal here is to fill close to half a quart and then put the handle back in, but you don't wanna fill too much. You see how close the fluid is to the end of the tube here? What do you think is going to happen when I push that airtight handle back in? It's going to overflow, right? So I'm going to put some back into the container in hopes I don't waste any fluid. Now you can see there's more room for that fluid to move up. That should be perfect. Or so I thought. Even with that extra space, it still poured out a little. That's okay. The other syringe I told you about has a longer tube connected to it, so this really won't be an issue. Let's get this differential filled. There isn't a lot to explain at this stage. Just push the tube into the differential opening and then press the syringe handle in to push the fluid out. You want to do this until the handle bottoms out. Some fluid may come out, but that's okay. Just make sure your drain pan is under the diff to catch it. Like I said earlier, you will be using almost two quarts, so it won't matter if a little bit of fluid drains out before it's full. You want to keep refilling the syringe and then the diff until you see a lot of fluid escaping, just like that. Now we can grab our fill plug and clean it up a bit. You can use a wire brush like this to remove the old thread sealant from the threads like I'm doing right here. Okay, so you want to apply some kind of thread sealant to the thread of your fill plug. I personally like the sealant from Permatex. Go ahead and remove the cap and then wipe the brush along the side because you don't need very much of it. You are just trying to very lightly coat the threads. When you start applying the sealant to the threads, don't overthink it. Just act like you are painting something, just like this. Once you get full coverage, go ahead and put the brush away and then use your fingers to really push the sealant into the threads. Clean up the diff a little and then begin threading the plug into the fill port. Once it bottoms out, wipe the diff one more time and then we can torque the plug down. 
All right, so these plugs need to be torqued down to 18 foot pounds. Make sure you are using the three inch extension to reach the plug more easily. Perfect, you are finished. That's all there is to it. If you found any part of this video helpful or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss a video from our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.